so much great illustration out there. Um, but the one thing I feel like I really have a good grasp on is facial expression. And, um, and I really think that is because of all the years that I have been lip reading. I have been lip reading for 40 of my 45 years on this planet. And that's a long time. And lip reading doesn't just mean I'm looking at the person's mouth. Lip reading means I'm looking at everything that's going on in their face. And I need more clues than just lips. I need to know, are they angry? Are they happy? Are they furious? Are they maybe just a little bit mad? Are they annoyed, but really they kind of like being annoyed? I mean, there's all these levels of, of stuff that you need to take into account. So I think all that is in my brain. I have this encyclopedia of expressions, and I don't, I don't even need to look at something, I just draw it. And sometimes, you know, I mess around with it and keep working and working till it looks right. But I really think that's one thing that I do well. And with very little, with very few lines, you know, I don't, I like simple lines, direct lines. And so, you know, a, a happy face is basically two dots and a mouth. But then if you just add a few extra lines, the eyebrows, some other things, you have so many different emotions that you can show. So I think that's probably what, what I've got in my personal toolbox. That, but sometimes I do need to look at photos or um, just reference of people's faces a little bit. But most of the time, you know, I know what mad looks like. I know what annoyed looks like. So. Um, that's one way I think I'm a strong illustrator that way.